Biden to honor Megan Rapinoe with Presidential Medal of Freedom. Openly LGBTQ plus soccer star Megan Rapinoe will be one of 17 people honored with a Presidential Medal of Freedom at the White House tomorrow. Rapinoe is not only a women's World Cup champion and Olympic gold medalist, but also a prominent advocate for gender pay equality, racial justice, and LGBTQ plus rights. Also to be honored is Alan Simpson, a former Republican senator from Wyoming who was an outspoken supporter of abortion rights, LGBTQ plus rights, and equality. According to the White House press release, quote, President Biden has long said that America can be defined by one word, possibilities. These 17 Americans demonstrate the power of possibilities and embody the soul of the nation, hard work, perseverance, and faith. They have overcome significant obstacles to achieve impressive accomplishments in the arts and sciences, dedicated their lives to advocating for the most vulnerable among us, and acted with bravery to drive change in their communities and across the world while blazing trails for generations to come." End quote. What a vast difference from when Trump was handing out these medals. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when he gave Rush Limbaugh one of them? <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Dios mío, ¿qué le pasa a ese señor? Wow. Oh. Anyway, um, I love Megan Rapinoe. Like, I'm a huge fan. You know, fan. and I haven't heard the word Rush Limbaugh since he did that at the State <laughs> of the Union speech. <laughs> and that word has never come out of yeah. a Latina mouth. So that's the first for that, just to let you know. Um, so I love Megan Rapinoe. I love her and her partner. But I want to break them up. Is that bad? I want to watch yes. and have yes. sex. Yes. And I want to break them up. Yes. Oh, oh, that's bad. Okay, I'm sorry. I wish you guys a long life together. And they, they are, they are that's a... That's a very ungay man thing. Oh, wait. Sorry. That's a, they're, a, they're a lesbian power couple. They are. They power. are, because uh, if you Sue don't know her, Bird. Sue Bird right. of the WNBA, mm -hmm. uh, she, who is amazing. She's in uh, her, um, her uh, victory lap uh, season. She's going to be retiring at the end of the season. Uh, together, they're just great. And people didn't quite get Megan. When they first, when she first really became, she was the a kooky thing. Girl. She had the crazy hair. She had the crazy hair. <laughs> yeah, and they and they thought, oh, she has no f's to give. No, she has tons of f's to give, and that's why she speaks yeah. up. There is no injustice that she will see and not comment yeah. on. I love her. Well, she was a big fighter also for uh, the equal pay, mm -hmm. also right for soccer, soccer players, yeah. et cetera. She right. was also a big supporter of BLM. I mean, there's really not much that she hasn't. You know, if she feels passionate about it, she's fighting for it. That's incredible. And, you know, I think our production team deserves Medal of Freedom as well. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. You know, uh, one <laughs> final thought about uh, Megan Rapinoe. One of the reasons I really love this story is um, sometimes I try to go back and understand what it felt like in 1969 mm -hmm. at Stonewall. Mm -hmm. And this story helps me uh, reframe my thinking of June 28th, 1969, because I very much imagine if the... The Rapinoe character was there, she would be at the front of the line mm -hmm. of that protest. And then when I can think that way, and, and I'm I'm emboldening my thought of her, I understand, but when I can think that way, I like what she's done so much more. Mm -hmm. In her wildness, uh, in terms of um, uh, at times being viewed as radical or crazy, I can't help but say, well, isn't that exactly what <laughs> they said about uh, uh, Marsha P. Yeah. Uh, or Sylvia, Sylvia yeah. Rivera. Yeah. Yeah. You know, right. it's those trailblazers yeah. that are the ones that really propel social justice in our history. And I think history will say that about Rapinoe. And proof of that is really not even all of the LGBT stand-up stuff that she has done, which has been incredible. The real stand-up is what you just mentioned. She takes on a corporate giant mm. and not a flash in the pan to say we're going to fight for three or four or five mm. months. She is a great example for somebody like a Max Fenning, mm. who is just beginning mm. the fight for youth and students and LGBT and more and more. She's been at that fight against the WNBA. Uh, or, I'm sorry, against soccer. Uh, right. I apologize. And what happened at the Olympics mm. and the move for for Major League uh, Women's Soccer and 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 uh, pay equity. She's been involved in it for years and years and years and wins. Yeah. <laughs> she won the battle yep. at the Stonewall Inn. There's thousands of women that are not only directly benefited by her activism, there's millions of women that say, thank you, mm -hmm. and I want to be you. Mm -hmm. That deserves the Medal of Freedom. For sure. 
LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.